The history of the Teltac. Teltacs are small transport vessels used by the Gwald, the Jaffa, the Tok'ra, and the Lucian Alliance. The Tal'ri have also briefly made use of stolen Teltacs prior to acquiring their own hyperspace capable vessels. Production information. Manufacturer Gwald. Class Supply and Troop Transport. Length 15 meters. Width 10 meters. Height 6.5 meters. Engine units. Sublight and hyperdrive. Fuel Naquita. Hyperdrive system Interstellar. Power plant Naquita generators. Shielding Gwald shields. Sensor systems Gwald sensors. Countermeasures, cloaking device, armaments, none. The upgraded has staff cannons, crew, pilot, and co pilot, passengers, 25 maximum, cargo capacity, 35,000 kilograms, other systems, self destruct, transporter rings, and escape pods. Overview A Teltac is a vaguely pyramid shaped vessel with an elongated nose. The rear section of the vessel curves into a pair of wings when landed. The tips of the wings located near the mint section retract to allow boarding, then extend once more when in flight. The ship is divided into two major sections, the flight deck onto which the main entrance opens and the cargo section in the back. They are separated by a bulkhead which is removable to allow more space during flight. Beyond the cargo hold is an engine room where all control systems of the ship are located. This includes the many control crystals. The Teltec's primary role is that of a transport vessel, either for cargo or passengers. The basic model of the Teltec is equipped with a hyperdrive, transportation rings, and four escape pods located in the cockpit. It is unarmed and possesses no shields. The ship is highly maneuverable thanks to its small size, but is no match for death gliders. Its speed, both sublight and hyperspace, is inferior to that of the Hatak or the Al Kesh. At least one of Selmak's Teltacs had a modified communicator which transformed a human voice into a symbiote voice when broadcasting. Teltacs are often modified so as to make them more versatile, particularly when in the hands of those not directly aligned to the Gwald. Shields are the most common addition, making the vessel somewhat more robust than normal, though not by much. Some have also been equipped with staff cannons, though this is less common. The bounty hunter Aris Bosch could also control his Teltac remotely, at least for simple tasks. This ship was also the first shown to have a cloaking device, a feature at the time found only in Sokar's ships, but which eventually became practically standard for all Teltacs. Thank you for watching the history of the Teltac. New episodes every Saturday. Like, share, and subscribe if you want. Have a great day.